Well, good morning from Northern Ants. This is Mark, and this is day three of the progress for the bumblebees after their relocation. Cool to see how they're progressing in here. I guess you can see there's some new honey pots. That one right in the front there. New honey storage. And there's quite a few of them around. That one next to it, a little bit wider one, is a pollen storage, it looks like. And let's move over a little bit. One's got its head in a, another storage. Zoom it out a little bit so you can see the whole nest. Uh, there's the queen over on the side here. Let's get a closer view of her. She is the one that just her head sticking out of the from in the comb. And then that's a future queen in front of her. And it looks like a drone. With the drones, you can tell because their antennae are longer, their eyes are bigger, and you see that that patch of fur on their nose. That it's will be yellow, but that's a young one, so it's still white. When a bumblebee hatches, their fur is white. That's how you can tell their age. The lighter color their fur is, the younger they are. Let's see if I, I think I saw one right there that just pretty much just hatched if you see the one uh let's see if i can get my finger into the screen right there that one right in front of the tip of my finger its wings are still even kind of laid down on its back meaning it just hatched not too long ago So you can kind of see they're starting to work on the trying to get my finger there we go. This here, this is them working on the covering using some of the materials that came with the nest. And there's a yellow jacket in there. And let's see, let's zoom out because there's well, I am zoomed out. <laughs> There's some activity at the entrance, it looks like. Get closer to the entrance. You can kind of see them working around at the, in the light down there. Unfortunately, we see some some gnats and flies and stuff in there too. That's one of the things that against bumblebees, especially with the nest being opened up like this, is flies and, and stuff will get in there and lay eggs in the comb. But 
but they can usually fight them off pretty good. It's really cool when the queen, how she lays new eggs. I think in one of my other videos um, from back in like the early 2000s, I did of the bumblebee nest, how the queen was laying, how she laid her eggs. She makes a little wax cap, and then she lays a bunch of cluster of eggs in that cap, and then seals it up. And as the eggs, <clears throat> when they hatch, they start separating from each other, and they gradually make their own cells, and the workers will add pollen to the to each individual larva cell and then when they hit the right age then they will spin their separate cocoons which then was where they hatch out of seems to be the most activity right in this little area here and then there's see a lot of they're clustering around the those cells. Those are the individual pupa where the adults will hatch out of. And they will cluster on top of those to you know, use their body heat to um, keep them warm. It looks like they're heading out, some of them, for gathering some more food. There's probably already a few of them out there, or quite a few of them actually, out gathering food for the colony. Well, I hope you enjoyed the the update. I'm going to be trying to do a, a update every morning so we can kind of watch the progress every day of the colony. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Hit that like button, comment down below what you're thinking of the, of the daily updates, and you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so and the bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. Also, please comment down below what you thought. I really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.